firearms, alcohol, and tobacco? Sounds like a pretty good time. Take a few minutes to think about your morning ritual. What do you do when you get ready for work? You might wake up, put on yesterday's pants and shirt, grab some flip-flops, your keys, and a pop-tart before running out of the house to start working 15 minutes. You might also get up two hours before work in an effort to look your very best, get your kids ready, and grab a few essentials for the day. Regardless, everyone has an everyday carry or EDC, no matter how small or varied it is. Sure, it might be common knowledge that an on-person EDC's most notable inclusion is a firearm. But what other items should you keep with you to ensure you're ready for the day? Here's a list of 10 items that you should keep with you every single day. The only question is, are you paranoid or prepared? Number one is a firearm. It's not just any firearm that you can go into a gun store and pick out. It's any firearm that you can keep with you in most places. Obviously, you have to follow local laws. Personally, I carry a Glock 19. This is different than the Glock that I did the modification set on and that it's smaller, has a smaller magazine capacity, but it's more easily concealed. As most of you may know, the gun world as a whole has different subcategories, i.e. rifles and pistols and handguns. Uh, within rifles you have um, obviously automatic rifles, you have short barreled rifles, you have bolt action rifles, lever action rifles, you have semi-automatic rifles, high magazine capacity rifles. With handguns, you have double action, you have single action, you have double, single, you have striker fire, you have full size, you have compact, you have subcompact, and you also have what's called pocket guns. If you dress properly, train correctly, and get the right kind of gear, you can carry a wide variety of handguns on your person. It's a lot easier to carry a pocket gun concealed than it is a full-size 1911. Be sure, if you don't have a concealed carry permit, but you do want to carry a firearm, that it is legal. For example, in Colorado, you can open carry a long gun and you can open carry a handgun, so long as it's not in Denver. Other states, like Missouri, only allow for handguns to be open carried. Still, other states, like Texas, allow for only long guns to be open carried. Wherever you live and whatever you're trying to open carry, it's always good to go to the source, call your sheriff's department, and ask. I have two different kinds of holsters shown here. I have an outside the waistband holster and I have an inside the waistband holster. The outside the waistband holster is custom Kydex and it was designed to fit a Glock small frame, either a 19, a 17, or a 23, or a 22, with a tactical light on it. At the moment, 
I don't have a light that goes onto my gun, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Whether you open carry or conceal carry, a firearm is an essential part of an everyday carry. A knife is a great item to complement your firearm and will honestly get used a lot more. It's suggested you attain a quality folding blade that can be carried in your front pocket and preferably has a serration. It's true that serrated blades are a lot harder to sharpen, but you can use this to cut just about anything, from rope to boxes. If you're planning on keeping a knife with you to use as part of your EDC, and for all things work-related, remember to sharpen the blade at least once a week. After spending money on a gun, ammunition, a holster, and your concealed carry class, it's easy to go to Walmart and pick out a $10 knife under the assumption that it'll work just fine for your EDC. And it just might. But chances are, depending on the brand, that the handle will come detached from the blade and you'll be out even more money. Kershaw, K-Bar, and Benchmade all make great knives. Of course, they can get up in price, but aren't prone to breaking. If you're looking for a forever knife, a blade that will last as long as you do, Benchmade has a great warranty and offers a free annual sharpening for all of their products. A flashlight is another item that should be standard in your on-person EDC. If you elected to put a light onto your gun, then get another flashlight. This is absolutely paramount. Say you got to work in the morning and there were no parking spaces under a street light, or maybe you've worked so long that all the street lights have turned off. It's never a good idea to walk to your car in pitch black, and drawing your gun simply to use the light is just as bad of an idea. Get a light that will allow you to see several feet in front of you, 150 lumens or up, and preferably has a strobe function. Be sure to test your light about three times a week to ensure it still works, and keep batteries for it in both your glove box and at work. A gun light is still a good idea to have, as you can use the light to see your target should the need arise, and you must draw your firearm. Even detaching the flashlight from your gun and using that to see your way to your car can be an error. Holsters that will allow your firearm to hold a light need that light to keep the firearm seated. Detaching the light and reholstering the firearm will cause the firearm to flop around inside the holster, and should you have to run, potentially cause the firearm to fall out of the holster, leaving you defenseless. A Bic lighter might not seem essential, but it's always a good idea to have the ability to create fire, even if you don't smoke. A Bic can fit seamlessly into any of your pockets, and you'll forget you have it until you need it, which is always convenient. Don't make fun of my fucking lighter. Your wallet is always a necessity. It carries your money, IDs, hopefully any medical insurance information. It's also a good idea to create a credit card sized card and laminate it, detailing any allergies you may have, as well as a list of emergency contacts. I understand a lot of this information can be found on your phone, but do you have a screen lock on your phone? Paramedics won't take the time to go through your phone, but a clearly marked card saying allergy information on top with a list of contacts gives them everything they need in one spot. Even if you don't have a lock on your phone, what harm is there in having duplicate information? It's also a good idea to take a standard piece of 8.5 by 11 printer paper, fold it up, and keep it in your wallet. Definitely one of the most important pieces to have in your everyday carry is a way to contact people. It's a cell phone. Now this should pretty much go without saying. If you're walking alone and you feel like someone's following you, pull out your phone. Call mom and dad, tell them where you are. Give them an update every two or three minutes. Likewise, it's not only for your protection, it's for protection of, of others as well. How many times have you witnessed a car accident on the side of the road, whether you've actually seen one car impact another car? That day could very well come and you could have to dial 911 for any kind of situation. Make sure that your phone is with you and preferably you have a charger that's easily accessible. I'm not saying you have to carry the charger with you, but it's always good to have one in your car, in your glove box, at work. Now, not only should you have your phone with you at all times, but you should always keep it in the exact same spot. Now, if you're carrying a firearm, that spot that you carry your phone should be on the opposite side that you carry your firearm. This is because if you had to draw your firearm to keep an assailant at bay and he's following your commands, you're not just going to let him go. 
but at the same time, you can't reholster your gun and put yourself back into danger while you look for your phone. So, if you're a right-handed shooter and you draw your firearm with your right hand, keep your phone in your left pocket, make sure that you can work that phone with your left hand. Practice this. Is some sort of time-telling device, preferably not your phone. If you're stuck somewhere and your phone battery is dwindling and you have to keep it on power saving mode, ultra power saving mode, maybe you've had to turn it off, the last thing you want to keep doing is draining the battery by flicking the screen on and checking what time it is. And you may sit there and say, well, hey, I'm not going to buy a watch because there's always people around me that always have watches. Okay, cool. What about in an emergency? This video isn't to tell you to get into a mob mentality and to rely on other people. This video is to tell you what you need to be carrying every single day. What happens if you do find yourself alone and afraid? Personally, I have a Casio Pathfinder, and this is a great watch. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, runs about $300, $350, but in addition to being able to tell me the time in multiple time zones, it has a compass, a thermometer, a barometer, an altimeter, and an alarm. Another name for 550 cord, Paracord bracelets can be found at multiple sporting stores such as Bass Pro, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Cabela's. It doesn't look like you have a lot of cord to begin with, but a good rule of thumb is to estimate one foot of cord for one inch of knotted bracelet. This means if you have a bracelet that is about 10 inches, you have 10 feet of paracord. Considering how much real estate one of these takes up on your person at, at any one time, compared to how valuable a few feet of strong cord is in emergency, it's a given that one of these little guys should be included in your EDC. A water bottle is a common item for a good reason. It carries water, the root of all life. Water can be used for a number of things. Most importantly is probably drinking. It's a common enough resource that you would be able to go into almost any building, ask the people there to fill up your bottle for you, and be on your way. The bottle doesn't have to be anything super durable, and honestly I'm not sure I could see myself spending more than $15 on a container to hold any consumable fluid. Even if you go to the store and buy a value pack of 24 water bottles, keep one the whole day before discarding it that night. A pen is the last thing on our list. It doesn't have to be a super duper double as an eye gouger pen, but you should make sure it's in working condition every single day. Use this with a spare sheet of paper in your wallet to write down any notes you might need, whether you're describing a thief that ran away or simply taking directions down. Remember, an EDC is exactly that. They're items that you carry with you every single day. Muscle memory doesn't take a lot to train into you, but it takes a lot of work to forget. Train safe, train right, Train hard.